Hi everyone, welcome back to Arting with Mrs. Gill and I'm Mrs. Gill. Hey, thank you for uh, liking my channel, subscribing, anything. Um, I really appreciate it. Today we're going to continue on with day three of Sunshine Cap Canvas time. Okay, so today I'm going to go back and kind of give a second coat to these just so the uh, colors pop more. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to take my Posca markers. Everyone knows I love Posca markers. I've got 150 videos. Go back and look at them if you like. They're very relaxing and uh, very fun. So this is a coral pink from Posca. I like Posca markers because they are very bright and the colors are very vivid. I love it and it's easy to use. I'm trying not to get things wet so let's see. So I'm going to go back and kind of fill in some spaces. And kind of make those colors a little bit bolder. This will be a second layer. It's the beauty of these markers. You can do many layers. And make those colors really stand out. You can get Posca markers from Amazon or anywhere. Um, I get most of my art stuff from Amazon just because it comes to my door and it's a lot easier for me to do it that way. I'm pretty much a homebody. I like staying at home. I've got all these art crafts I've purchased for this channel that I'm going to be doing and showing you. So that's fine with me. It's very relaxing doing this art and watching someone do it. I think watching someone color is just one of the most relaxing things. Watch someone do some art. Okay, so we, we took our uh, coral pink and we kind of made some darker stronger colors. Now we're going to take our brown and kind of layer up again so that we can really make those colors stand out. See that? Ooh, it's nice. I love that warm brown from Posca. I love all the Posca colors really, but uh, this warm brown is really nice. Look how that goes on that paint. Beautiful. I don't have to have canvases. I don't have to have much anything but this paint. These markers and a canvas and I can do my art. Simple. No wet paint. None of that. And the colors are so bright. See I get around those edges and kind of put some more oomph into these colors. Isn't that great? I hope you're enjoying my channel. I, uh, I'm trying to make it better and better. You know, after all, it is progress. Not perfection. Progress, not perfection. That's what I say. Oh yeah, look at that. That next coat really kind of covers it good, doesn't it? So now we got my pretty water and we'll go back over here, get some of these places pressed down and get that paint to come out real nice. See that? Isn't that great? It comes out so wet and nice. 
fills up those canvas threads. It makes my water more, more blue and vivid. See that? Take care of those spaces that maybe I missed to give it more of a vivid color. You know, you do these little canvases, you can get them really cheaply anywhere, online, uh, even Dollar Generals and Family Dollars have these little canvases. And you can just get them and buy them and make you a little neat art. Maybe you want to sell it or something. You know, you could do that. Make a bunch and sell them. Take them to an art fair. So much nice art around. And I like it that I'm filling up these spaces with more paint. See that? Makes some more vivid color. And it comes out so nice. Do you see that? Liquid light. It's great. We're on day three of Sunshine Canvas. That's what I'm calling it. I hope you're enjoying it with me. Sunshine Canvas Days. And I don't worry about going over these black marks because these edges because going out of the lines because I'm going to go back and fill it with black you know to make it nice okay so I did that let me do this one which color was that it's my apricot I think yeah apricot one of my faves so let's see what can I touch that's not wet okay again you got to let this paint dry it uh, does need to dry so you got to be a little bit careful but again if you make a mistake once it dries you can go over it and fix it well, now look how much more vivid those colors came out didn't they that brown needs a little bit more work and that blue, that blue needs to be another layer. Oh yeah, so we can get those whites. This is one of my favorite blues colors. I think it's light blue. Yep, light blue. Those are my dogs coming in from the outside in the doggy doors. Yeah, making this even more vivid. Again, if I mess up over these trees, I'm going to go back with my marker and fix it once it dries. So there really are no mistakes with these markers because once they dry, you can cover them up again. So you can layer these colors. That's what I like about these markers. You can keep layering and layering and uh, to where you want, where you like it. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, see, we're making these blue even more vivid. Getting rid of those white places for my sky. That's my sky right there. So, and with the canvas, you have to let it dry a little bit longer. To keep it nice. You can make these canvases into gifts. Christmas is coming. Maybe you want to give your family gifts. Okay, let's see. We can put a few more with this. I'm trying to 
trying to make these colors stick out a little bit more like sun rays kind of going up here and finishing making those colors even more vivid see how that works and it does help doesn't it so without getting things wet I'm going to keep doing this because oh yeah press down for more paint these are acrylic markers So they're permanent. It's a permanent color. Okay. Let's see, what's this one? Coral. No, I don't want the coral, but I want this. And I think that's right here. Yep. There we go. I hope you're doing well. I am. I do enjoy coloring. So relaxing. Oh yeah, you can see how much better that is, can't you? Did I do that again? Hmm? Okay. All right, we've added more color today, so I think that's where we'll end today. Please join me uh, for my next couple of videos where I will finish my sun canvases. Thank you for watching, and please come back. Thank you for joining Arting with Mrs. Gill. Bye-bye.